Hi there. Today we want to give you some exciting moves on how to fight two men at a time. And uh, this is going to be shown as we take the action. Alongside you get the explanations and the actions at the same time. I want to use this time to remind you that if you are just watching, watching us for the very first time, please do subscribe and hit the bell as we get your comment. Then I'll always like to uh, thank our already subscribers. We appreciate you. But stay tuned and enjoy this. Now, as I said, we want to work on two men fight. Now we have different aspects. And we're going to get them as we go along. Okay, from here, you're going to come to the front. Now, like, if you're fighting more than one person, the very point you need to understand is you do not need to waste time on a particular person. You need to develop some crucial techniques of countering, which once you take those techniques, it will incapacitate that person. So that you might not have such time of coming back at you. So that is the basic thing you need to understand. First. So we are going to see as we go on. Okay? Now, the first aspect of this kind of attack is this. You do not, you try not as much as possible not to allow them close you in. And you've succeeded. You want to work on at first, the ones that you've succeeded to take yourself out and they've not been able to close you in. So this now is not going to be one, two attack. Alright? Okay, now, from here, I move close. This is the first person that I'm close to. Because I cannot move here and then expect attack from here at once. I only expect attack from here after here. Because I come close to him here while considering that there's somebody still waiting so I do not take all my attention here I still have my attention the other way too Okay, now from the explanation We are here now for action Now take anything you want to take Okay, you choose to take a punch and that's the first block for the punch and now, because as I said, you have to make sure that you release techniques that will incapacitate him so that he will not have such time to come back at you again because you still have somebody waiting to mount another attack on you. So you don't need to waste time on this one. Now, after this block, the next thing is and then strike to the groin. That is the weakening part. You must weaken him to the groin. Then after the strike to the groin, groin sorry, you see, go ahead to take this to the side of the head, which is a very dangerous strike, which sometimes we talk about this. Then after this, you can let him go, but you finish with him. Now, from here, all these things you are doing, your mind, is still not centered only on him because there's somebody waiting. He can come in at any time. Now you've finished, you've exhausted. Now he's coming. He comes with anything. So, he takes punch too because he thinks from here you cannot actually do anything. So he starts to come to the, with a punch behind your head. And what you do is come here. And here, and I go here with a punch called uppercut, straight to the rib cage, which will incapacitate him. I go there one, and the next thing is I strike the shoulder, and then I sink him down here, and he goes down. Okay, those techniques are techniques that will keep them down for as long as I want, or make them useless. Because if you strike any feeble technique at this man, the time that you'll be spending on this man 
he would come back at you aggressively. So you have succeeded to keep him at arm's length down there for five, ten minutes, and you use less than a minute to finish to drop this one down. So now let's go ahead and take that action in two. <laughs> okay. From the first instance, I am out here. Now he comes with the strike. viewers so far you've seen the action i want to re-emphasize again that any technique you are taking in such situation needs to be a hard one very devastating technique which will incapacitate your attacker knowing fully well that he is not the only one he might, there might be more than two that you are seeing you are going to follow the same procedure in fact more than two will even as, as, as many as they are will make you to use more devastating techniques to spend lesser time because if you spend um, if you spend 30 seconds on this one person knowing that the other person is waiting you will not wait that long and probably there might be more than one another person so you now reduce the 30 seconds on this one to at least like 5 seconds 5 seconds so that by the time you finish 5 seconds five seconds and you go there so the more they are the lesser time you use and what that means is the more devastating technique you apply to incapacitate your opponent to keep them down for as long as you want so so far you've seen the techniques you can apply them at any time if you don't know how to do them find a way to, to learn them you can learn them through the videos or you can locate us and learn those techniques and you apply them they are very very good for self-defense okay after done after being done with that let's uh, take for more emphasis let's see another action another counter action Okay, now still on the same move for the different counter. Different. All right, back here. Now take your action. Hey. Okay, now this is we go back. Let's go back again so that I explain what happens from this point. He comes with that point as he has decided to take a punch or take two punches as you've seen. Now throw the punch again. I see in preparation for counter. He quickly comes with another one. So I think and this time I do not want him to try any more things from here because I have succeeded to sink in closer to him and now take this. You can see him jerking. This is a very deadly point here. Now when I finish this strike here, what did I do? I turn in and I take this. Take knee strike to the groin. Now finishing there, as I drop back, I take elbow strike here. All these techniques are very deadly. He can't come up again, at least not for the next five minutes. Correct? He has to stay down. Okay, now from here now, the other person comes with a point. I take it down. Now when I drop there at the solar, I release a point again to the solar. This is a vertical point, not the horizontal point that you need. Vertical point that penetrates the solar. And as you go in again, so with these techniques, is down I might choose to after here I go here but I prefer to go to the rib some persons might prefer to go here still deadly area here equally still deadly the only difference is that the injury you give him here might show on the surface 
but this might not show because it might end up breaking up the ribcage inside but he will know what he's feeling inside and he will, of course he will keep him down he's going to be incapacitated so that is the action now let's go back and take the action in full all right now we are back here now he's taking the action in full now let's see So, so far, just like I did in the first one, I told you what happens and what you expected or what you should expect now. You've seen this other point and I want to stress again that you might not exactly do the techniques that I've just done for the counter. But the most important thing is to note the areas, the, the uh, dangerous areas on the human body which you should take your strike to and you should also trust your strike so that when you are given taking releasing the strike you know exactly what you have done not giving out a feeble strike and not to even a vulnerable part of the body okay. all right so we are going to take a different form of this two-man fight remember i started by saying when you when you are faced with this situation you pull out Take yourself out from the media, the mist, and find, locate yourself to a particular person. Okay, now let's assume a situation where both of them quite understand that you should not space them out. They want to come on you together. So by the time you try to move out, and they move in, try to move out, they move in. What happens? Now watch out and see what's going on. So now I want to see the situation where you've tried to get away from them and to give them some distance and they have chosen not to allow you and they come closely and closely and ended up closing you up. So what is going to happen? Okay, now let's see the action. Now from here, they have come to attack and you make your move and they follow up. You make your move, they follow up. All right, now... They ended up closing you up. You are now at the center. Now from here, what you need to do is your attention now must be circulated. Attention cannot be on this one or on this one alone. Your attention is there. You don't know who is coming at you first. You don't know whether they are coming both at the same time. Now that aspect also will determine your stance. You might choose to stand this way. It might affect you if this man is coming first. You might choose to stand this way. It might affect you if this man is coming first. So it all depends on where will be comfortable for you to take a move when you take this, this stance. But for you to be in a natural stance is most preferable at this point natural stance while taking into cognizance on both of them whoever comes now from here let's see your action see that from here I have finished that now I strike here one and I go two now as you can see it's just the kick that took him down now why the kick is that shows that much devastation on him is because first he ran into the technique when the technique is coming and remember i told you it is the technique you are giving out is doubly strong and secondly he's coming into it because by the time i stuck the first man I got a space, so that space he had to run in. Now running in for his attack, 
came and met with a devastating counter coming so it gives him a double 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 effect so that's why you saw him down and rolling so that's what happened so from there if you want to add anything up there you can if you don't want you just leave him and go your way so that's that so far we're going to we're going to pause here for today until you come your way next time if you are joining us or if you are watching us for the very first time please i want you to subscribe and hit the bell then thank you for our already subscribers thumbs up